Time for some cookery in our donals in the kitchen. We're here. Uh, we're very excited about this. What are you cooking for us today? It's three yeah. viral videos. Three. Right? I thought I'd come over and do one, but they said let's do three, and we're doing viral recipes. Now, I do have a little bit of kind of like apprehension when it comes Why? to these. Why? Because sometimes I think like, is this classic cooking? And it's not at all. But there is something to be said about these incredibly popular internet recipes. They have taken over. And one thing I would say as a positive is that it has encouraged people who may not cook before to get into the kitchen. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got three. First, we're going to start off with the, uh, what will I call it? The, cr the crookie. crookie. The crookie. I keep forgetting. <laughs> now. But this has got uh, province. This was, wasn't this from Paris? Originally? This is, so there's a cafe in Paris that put yeah. this on their menu, and yes. they are now selling over 2,000 of these crookies no. every single day. But what has really kind of catapulted the trend is the fact that people can make them really easily at home. Okay. So what I would say is try and get... Uh, if you've bought croissants over the weekend and you, some of them have gone a little bit kind of rough stale. hearts. Well, yeah. this one wasn't going to stay stale, but yeah, stale. <laughs> if you have a few stale, stale. croissants, <laughs> <laughs> they, a little bit harder. Exactly. And the reason that is, like, I mean, if you think about an almond croissant, that's that's something that's been, uh, that's an, a day-old croissant that's yeah. been stuffed with an almond paste and finished off ah. nicely. So it's beautifully stuffed with some cookie dough. And this is just regular cookie dough you buy from the, uh, oh, from the supermarket, all ready to rock. If you wanted to go Chuck. extra mile, Chuck. by Chuck. all means, make yours. Let's, let's add some more calories. Absolutely. Well, look, this is not, this is not everyday eats. This is, you know, special. This is a treat every yeah. month. And I will say, like, so I am, uh, as I said, I'm a sceptic of these sort of trends. Yeah. But there are ones that are worth good. making. And if they taste they're... good, they taste good. Exactly. So, look, we have this, and that's all you do. You're going to top these with a little bit more cookie dough, because, of course, why, why not? God, God, you're still at yeah, stuff left out. Yeah, you do have. Um, but, yeah, if you have them, by all means, and this is all kind of freezer-friendly stuff, like, if you had cookie dough in the freezer, absolutely yeah. knock it out. And they do feel, like, I was saying uh, to my I was like, we could make these for the weekend and we'd look real bougie, you know. But you know what, Tony? What I would do if I was with my, my partner, I would do one. Oh. And then I'd half it and we'd share it. Oh, I love you don't that. need to eat one of those each, do you, really? Uh, <laughs> like quarters they are. They're ridiculous. And even when we, yeah. made, we made these uh, a couple of weeks ago, and they did. The hilarious thing is, if you make these for your Instagram or your TikTok, yeah. they are automatically guaranteed to give you the views. So, because it's just they're timely and they're, people are really interested in it. These go into the oven for 12 minutes and they're going to cook off till the, basically, till the cookie dough has reduced uh, yeah. down and become nice and tender. And what you get left are these ridiculously <laughs> stupid looking cookies. They look but they look fantastic and they're really tasty. So, we're going to finish them off with a little There's drizzle. Almost chocolate. Oh, oh, chocolate. chocolate. Because why wouldn't you? Because why wouldn't you, you know? <laughs> and, and finish joking? them off. Jesus. And just just if you think that's not Holy enough, Joseph. if you think that's not enough, <laughs> why are they you'll be there? making this for the morning show now on the, on the weekend, Dermot. I can oh, see it. My. Um, bring him over here. What are they <laughs> doing I'm there? bringing, I'm working, I'm working. Um, so a little bit of icing sugar to finish. Bit of icing sugar. You know, why not? Some more calories. <laughs> more calories. Bang it on. <laughs> well, like, if you want to share or do you want one in? Yeah, each? one to share. One to share. We're not going to go over okay. it. Martyrs for I mean, Thank you, my dear. Look at this. OK, so look, you oh guys tuck into that. And while you're working away on that, we're going to talk about the one that I'm a little bit more sceptical of, but this is again doing the numbers on TikTok and it, <laughs> <laughs> it's falling apart. I Cookie dough that. and she's falling apart. <laughs> I, get excited. I can feed myself. All right, all right. Okay, so look, these are nice. <laughs> these are the slightly controversial ones because I coined the name the Mufsanya this morning. Oh, and yeah. a lot of people have had a few uh, opinions about it. Really? But it's basically oh, I, I wonder why. I seem to have lost my appetite. <laughs> Sorry about mentioning the Mufsanya. But we are here making Mufsanya, and this is what what <laughs> this is daytime in 2024. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> Finish this off. We've got lasagna sheets which have been blanched. Is it good? Is it going yeah, on? Incredible. It's good, isn't it? Look at this. So this is the. You blanch the lasagna, so just really quickly in water. Really quickly in water. You yeah. Dry and it. Or? The only reason I'd say that is because if you've got fresh lasagna sheets, in order to get them into the into these little muffin trays, you need that element of flexibility. So yeah. blanch them, pop them in here, and then top it with your bolognese, with your white sauce, and a little bit of cheese. It's a nice right? idea. And it's, it's just the right portion as well. Well, look, I, like I said, I was skeptical. It's party but food. It's right? party food. It would be. Perfect. You know what? My two boys, I've got a four and a six-year-old, and my two boys would devour it. Oh, yeah. So, Me too. I also think they'd be quite good in the freezer. You can, you yeah. know, crack them out. These, again, they're going to cook for about 20 minutes, and what you get left with is this beautiful little cup that's ready to be finished with some parsley or some basil. Um, they look really fancy and, you know, well, fancy-ish, but they're it's kind of weird. 1980s fancy. <laughs> it's a bit yeah. weird, because we've done dessert first and now we're having, like, our main. Yeah, I should have done it the other way, so <laughs> yeah, you have the <laughs> dessert main worry. course. I'll give you that one, okay. and I'll get you one, Dermot. I will share, don't worry. Oh, you'll share. OK, perfect. So while you're talking into that, um, and again, what I would say is... I want to share. <laughs>
<laughs> he can have his own on this one. I'll get like, you another one. Here, look. Let me share over here. Because no, 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 there's two there. Okay, look, there That's you go. Better. There we go. We feel a bit... <laughs> full of it, <laughs> Now, I'm interested to see what you think of them, because they're the one that I'm slightly sceptical of, but they are quite, you know... Well, your bolognese to... sauce is a dream, so... You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. So, look, chopped salad is the next mm. one. This is the one that is literally everywhere, and there's so many variations of... Is it, you like? You like? You look? It's really good. good. It's good. So, chopped salad everywhere. You can do millions of different variations mm. of this. This is the Italian version. So we've got some prosciutto, which we've fried off. We've mm -hmm. got salami, red onion, uh, some semi-sun-dried tomatoes, artichoke, a little bit of mozzarella. And you literally put everything on the board, chop it together. And I've seen this being done with like cream cheese, red onion, and smoked salmon. Everything on mixes bagels. together. Yeah, everything mixes together. You could argue that like, it does actually look quite nicer if you just don't do this, <laughs> do this but <laughs> <laughs> I would argue that. But what I will say is as a mouth, you know, as a, mouth, a full bite, essentially. Really, is it nice? Really, really good. So you grilled uh, chia So do you mix it all in? Mix it all in. And I've got a lovely little twist on this. So I've got uh, pesto mayonnaise, yeah. a little dollop of pesto into your mayonnaise. Nice. And yeah. you pop that onto your toasted ciabatta. And honestly, like I said, sceptical or not, this tastes absolutely fantastic. So we're going to pop that in here. We're going to get some of this beautiful oh, mixture yeah, in here. Get it on. And I do have... I think, do you want oh, me to do it? No, yeah, you chopped that. It. I thought I had one. Oh, I have one down here. Fantastic. <laughs> OK, so look at these beauties. Once you fill them, once you've chopped them, you have a spectacular oh, sandwich. Can we try this? To... Oh, yeah, you've got to get in here and have oh, a look. Get involved, I'm, going to, I'm going to slice this up. But once you've... Get your chops around that, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Like... This is lunch sort of you two now. Look at this. So look at that. Thank absolutely you. fantastic. You guys took in there. Fantastic. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Simple, really easy recipe. What are you doing? I've done it all for you. You've got one gig on a bake-off and she's <laughs> cooking up a stuff. <laughs> oh, I actually felt a bit of pressure today, though, because we've got the star baker here. How did you feel about the crookie after getting a handshake from Paul Hollywood? Oh, that's great. Yeah? Oh, good? Yeah. yeah. Mm. But I, love, I mean, I, I love croissant as well. It's good. It's good. Yeah. That's delicious. Well done, Donald. Thank you very much. Thank you, Donald. Thank all you the so details much. of today's recipes, check out the free This Morning app.